Welcome to day 15. Today we're going to go over how to reduce or remove the risk of losing too much of your bankroll too quickly. Yesterday's lesson on how to play a slot machine to determine if you should continue playing is a big part of this, but so are some tactical approaches where you use loss limits on your slots play. Loss limits are a specific topic which falls under the broader category of bankroll money management, alongside other specific topics I'll go over soon. Loss limits happen to be an educational topic one of the few sometimes discussed by a few of the many, many channels whose business it is to sit in front of a slot machine and record their slots play, often edited to remove long losing streaks for your viewing pleasure. This means you might find some useful information on money management from those slots channels. Maybe. Here's mine. Whatever slots money management strategies you discover online, if it is truly about money management rather than instead being general gambling advice, it'll always come down to two fundamental principles. Limit losses and preserving gains. Preserving gains is the topic of tomorrow's lesson, but for now let's delve into systematically limiting bankroll losses. The easiest loss limit method to reduce the loss of a bankroll is to play slower. This approach is entirely accurate, but, it, but I don't like it, perhaps due to it not being the most effective loss limit method. Yes, it does limit the loss of a bankroll, but it's much like not going to a casino in the first place. My adjustment to this play slower suggestion is to make it far more focused. Here it is. I suggest you always avoid playing two or more slot machines at the same time. This popular method was fine decades ago, but it's fallen to the wayside since 2012 when central computer server technology arrived. Put another way, playing two or more machines at once was fine when slot machines were almost entirely games of chance. Nowadays, one of these machines is likely better than the other, so you're better off figuring out which is which before playing them. That's the topic of many of my other videos. Much of the work necessary for limiting your losses occurred while preparing for your casino trip and tip number four specifically using any available state gaming commission's publicly reported casino specific and slot machine denomination specific return statistics another better method for limiting losses is to instead use loss limits when playing an individual slot machine why because return statistics don't identify the specific serial number and location of winning slot machines using loss limits means deciding how much you're willing to lose lose on any individual slot machine, even if you don't end up losing. Whatever way you evaluate which slot machines to play, someone must play it to determine if it is truly worth playing. This approach likely means you play it, as watching someone else play it runs the high risk of that person never leaving a winning slot machine. If you decide to spend your bankroll to determine if it's worth playing, don't waste your entire bankroll doing so. Avoiding this potential catastrophe is essentially what having a loss limit means. One loss limit scenario is to put a few bills into the machine equating to how much you're willing to risk on that machine, where the plan is to spend no more than that to evaluate the performance of that slot machine. Maybe you'll insert $20 or even $100. A second loss limit scenario is to put in more than you're willing to risk, but limit how much of it you spend. Why? Because in a practical sense, slot players are often carrying around a voucher with more than they're willing to risk on any one slot machine. Either scenario means not risking your entire Entire bankroll thanks to setting a loss limit. Players with a goal of money making or entertainment aren't interested in how much they've spent, only in how much they have left. Players with a primary goal of earning points and tier levels like to track how much they've spent. Implementing a loss limit for money and fun goals is simple. Either spend what you put into the slot machine because your loss limit is how much you put into the machine, or if you put in a big bill or voucher, stop playing when the balance in the machine drops to your initial amount minus your loss limit. This approach was one of my early rules for gambling, and it went terribly wrong. Sort of. With my $25 loss limit, I won $500 before I reached my loss limit. Along with several other wins, it wasn't until 12 hours later that I finally reached my $25 loss limit. As I mentioned earlier, it's important to stick with your plan, but sometimes like having a career after college, a little flexibility in your plan is a good idea. It's not nearly so simple for players with a comps goal. Comps players are looking for machines that cycle bankrolls. 
slot machine interfaces show how much money or credits you have in the machine, but don't easily show how much you've spent during your playing session. To know how much you've spent, you'll need to keep track of it yourself. Counting credits is the most straightforward and practical way to keep track. Some slot machines only show your bankroll and credits. You've set a loss limit in dollars, but how many credits is that? Well, it depends what denomination the slot machine has. If your goal is comps and you're looking for a slot machine that cycles bankrolls, count the credits you've spent and pause your play when you reach your loss limit, the total credits you originally put into the machine. Now, during this pause, compare the credits remaining in the machine to your loss limit. If it is lower, use how much lower to decide if you want to continue betting on that machine. If it is the same, congratulations, you've just cycled your first bankroll. If it is more, again, I offer a hearty congratulations because you both cycled your bankroll and made a profit. Ahead are the tasks, recommendations, and resources you're going to get in support of establishing your loss limit approach by clicking the continue button below.